What? What? I got people on there already? I didn't even know I was live, you guys. Sorry. <laughs> Jeez. I've been on for four minutes and sitting here like dead air. Holy free holies. It, I, what? <laughs> well, Hildago, how do you do? I'm sorry I didn't talk sooner, you guys. I didn't know I was live. You caught me. I don't know what I was doing. Shoot. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, um, what I'm doing here, these are the turbines for the A-10. And this turbine will be in a bearing so that it absolutely will spin. Um, just like, uh, well, this is the A-10 right here. The rotary cannon on this also uh, turns. And so, anyway, yeah, it's cool. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry for not noticing you guys in here. Darn. But anyway, yeah, um, I teach people how to build uh, paper toys from recycled paper out of my kitchen. <coughs> and I just went live on TikTok. So, howdy, MC. <clears throat> Welcome. Uh, this is some of the kind of cool stuff that you can learn how to build if you want to uh, take up this hobby. And this is a, a cheap hobby. Yeah, at At Walker. And I have a stand for him because um, he needed it. They needed uh, this maintenance bay, uh, needed to work on the At At itself. And so that's what they're doing. And if anybody would like to get in on anything I build, best way is to send a dollar or more to Cash App. Uh, yeah, thank you very much, MC. I made these too. A dollar donation will get you uh, on the um, list to make these lights or to get one of these lightsabers from me. I sign and date and number everything. So um, whoever uh, gets this, and the guy that wanted on the gnome wheel was Azimuth, but I don't have him on my uh, contact list, so he doesn't follow me. I don't know how to get him, you know, so he knows he's got it. Howdy, Adrian. Nice to see you. And, uh, well, this is also kind of impressive. This is one of my more fun creations right here. This SD uh, Zeku Gundam. And I'm hoping to enter it into the Gundam competitions uh, this year if uh, the United States ever gets invited. And so anyway, that's the AI pilot inside here. And, um, <laughs> yeah, these work too. And uh, it's got weapons all over it. it. It's got weapons everywhere. It's got knee pad weapons. It's got roller blades so it can really cook along. <laughs> The heels are also spring-loaded. The gun has 30 rounds of ammo in the clip. Fun builds all out of recycled paper out of my kitchen. This here is what I build with. Cracker boxes. Cereal boxes. Or soda boxes. They all work really well. <laughs> oh, that's okay, Jack. If somebody can use something, I say, have fun, enjoy, do it. You know? Uh -huh. <clears throat> it's like when I lose something and I find it, I go, got it, coach. <laughs> well, I don't know if it's worth anything, but I hope somebody uses it. Thank you, Cyrus, very much. And you know, you don't have to uh, make mechs or stuff. You can make a bug. You know, I made this dragonfly because a woman asked me to make something and I said, I can't make a bug. And she started laughing and went, sure you can. Well, as it turns out, I can make a bug. Oh, yeah. 
yes, uh, uh, mellow boy they are. It, but not not everything that I do is, um, you know, is Star Wars related. I made stuff like this, all right, and uh, the blades move, all right. Just it's just like a regular old four fifty or five fifty uh, John Deere cat. So anyway, yeah, this was my dad's. He my sis before he passed on, I made it for him. Yeah, and there's there's of course. R2-D2, yeah, and his buddy, uh, 3PO. Ta-da! Fun builds, you guys. These are very fun builds. <laughs> well, thank you, uh, uh, Mello. Thank you very much. Thank you, Devin. There yeah, they are, and they're made out of recycled paper out of my kitchen. Yeah, it's one of them cool things I teach you how to do on uh, YouTube. The paper engineer. Oh, you want? Yeah, Devin. I'll show it to you again. Uh, yes. <laughs> Most people never noticed that silver leg. Period. Correct. Thank you, Devin. And uh, if you go to my YouTube page, The Paper Engineer, and try to build some of this stuff, uh, if you do, please start with the micro-machines. If you make a mistake there, it's a micro-mistake. Start making a dozer this size. Very difficult. But once you get that, then you can double its size and add more detail. The bigger they get, the more detail you can put in them. Oh, uh, and you might want to do something like General Grievous. Please do not. Okay. Um, this thing is driving me absolutely Looney Tunes. Trying to figure out all the different stuff to get this to work. And, and make him... Jeez. It, it's a mess. Um, who's Kara? Uh, I don't know. Is Kara here? Uh... Why, Elaine? What's up with Kara? No, uh, country boy. Nothing paper mache. Yeah, yeah, Cole. It's grievous. And uh, I had to use a 14-gauge malleable wire in his body. But I tell you what, and this wire is all laced inside here. <coughs> it, it, this is a nightmare build, everybody. Really is. It, I started this in 6-6 six, six of 22. All right. I'm not... I'm about halfway finished. St stupid hard. Okay. This is a stupid hard build. But wow. <laughs> ah. Thank you, Hop Off. Oh, that's cool. That's cool, country boy. Nice. Thank you, Dewan. Um, uh, my mom's dead, by the way. <laughs> she passed on a couple years back. And so if you're doing your mom, which would be my mom, you're doing dirt, dude. Sorry. Yeah, Cole, and I happen to have really good patience. I just got done painting this right here. Um, I needed to paint the insides because these turbines are going in here. Just like this. They fit right in there just like that. And that is the way the turbines go. And they turn. Okay. So... Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, Grace. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, what's this going to be for? This is a. Uh, this is going to be for the A10 turbines that are going on here, so that it will look like this. So, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> I've been I've been asked many many times over the last couple of years. Make an A10. Make a, a you know, a, a, a Tomcat or a, an F18 or, you know. So I decided that I was going to make an A10. I happen to like them very much. And so that's what these turbines are for, is the A10. But it's not ready to go together yet. But I do like the four blades in the front. I don't think I'm going to put any more in it. The representation is good. Cole, my favorite by far, is my SD Zeku Gundam. This piece right here uh, was just a joy to build. I made finger joints so that the hands, the claws work. This gun can be removed. The hatchet can be removed. The uh, thrusters are threaded. I have three different types of thrusters that can go back here. And the engine to this All right, the engine to this thing. This is a honey dipper, a wood honey dipper. This here is a spray bottle cap. You know how you can adjust the spray bottles for mist or stream? That's what this is. And when uh, I, I, I hook these together with wire so that they're hooked right to this honey dipper, which is ground to fit the back of the chassis so these engines are super tough anyway I can change the thrusters on this here's the deal because these were spray bottle caps they had threads on the inside so when I uh, built this engine this thruster uh, vectoring uh, nozzle when I built these, I kept wrapping paper around it one layer at a time until it got to where I could screw them in. And so what basically you've got here is the threads on this match the threads in here. Because when this was still wet with glue, I screwed it into this plastic. Thank you, Kara, very much. And it, it had so much engineering to it. I knew that there was a hatch in the back. So I had to build this so that it would open and close. Thank you, Cole, very much. And um, and, and this, just, just so everybody knows, anyone that gets 200 coins in... As a donation, you'll be on the list to win one of these tri sabers. So, then thank you, Cole, very much. Thank you, Dean. I I see things everywhere. Okay, let's. I'll show you another thing uh, that I was. Uh, I was at Walgreens. All right, or Rite Aid. I don't know. It was one of them uh, pharmaceutical stores. And I was walking along the denture aisle, and there was some toothpicks right here, uh, flat with these little dingy doohinkies on them. Okay, that is the communications array, and it's uh, there's two of them, uh, so it has redundancy in case one of them gets blown off. But anyway, uh, that is a communications array. It's just a thing for cleaning your teeth. 
Cost two bucks for 20 of them. I use two. It's definitely worth two bucks for each. A dollar per antenna. And I got 18 more of them in case I need to build something else. Yes, Cole, 200 coins. What you're doing, by and when you send me something like that Happy Friday, okay, I can look up here and see. Uh, thank you, Ghost. <laughs> you're halfway to a ticket for the Tri Saber. Because I know that's 100. Okay, Ghost. Oh, Cole? Cole's at 544. Well, wow, that's cool, Cole. You have two and a half tickets. Thank you, Ghost. For every 200 uh, coins, it's one TikTok dollar. And that one TikTok dollar just... Oh, jeez, a Corgi. Thank you very much. I think Corgis are worth 100 too. I don't know. I have to check on that one. I'm not exactly sure. Corgis. Oh, Ghost. Nice, Ghost. Thank you very much. And so for every 200 coins, if you get 400 coins in, you get two tickets. 600 coins, you get three tickets, etc. And my gnome wheel is, is very, uh, I try to run it every week. If I sell 20 tickets, uh, then I run it every week. And I have been, um, my toys have been won by people like that since 20, uh, 21 when I start. Well, let's see, the first one was... Uh, 126.22. That's here. I didn't do very good at the start, but I kept getting better as I started, uh, as I went. And now we're on the second page. The last winner is right here, number 58. That's Azamuth. And so when I get in touch with Azamuth, he gets his choice of lightsabers. Then there will only be two left. <clears throat> and if I can't get a hold of Azamuth because he doesn't follow me, uh, hi, Dex4. Nice to see you. I do, Ghost. Thank you very much. Why don't you want one? It comes with an, a letter of authenticity signed and dated and numbered by me. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes, Dean. I'll show you this. I wanted to show this. This is the wonderful stuff all from recycled paper out of my kitchen. Okay. And so far, these are the only action figures uh, that I have. Now, uh, uh-oh. C-3PO. Okay, now look. Look at this. Okay, C-3PO fell over and his arm broke. All right, now this is the really cool thing about this. All I do is... Uh, rub some Elmer's glue back in this joint. All right. Now, let me see. I got to see something for a second. Um, 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 um. Okay. First time this has been broke. C-3PO was built on 131-2019. Have that information right here. And so now we're going to repair him. Because... Your paper toys are very durable. Yeah, my day's been good, um, uh, Dex4. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, yeah, Kara. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> if you, I will be your Yoda. Um, let's see. That is do or do not. Well, uh, I do be Yoda if you'd like. Thank you, uh, Dex4, yeah. Hi, Monk. <laughs> Howdy, nice to see you. Okay, now what I do, I put some of my Elmer's glue in here because paper can f separate on its fibers. And so what I'm going to do here is now I take this um, dental tool and I get that Elmer's glue on both sides. And now we're going to move this up here and see, it'll squeeze some of the glue out. That's what you want. Then I just clean that glue off like this so that that seam now becomes a, a now permanent fixture until maybe his arm gets broke again. Probably not because I'll take more care of him. Yes, Elaine, absolutely. <clears throat> 
and uh, General Grievous. Well, and uh, General Grievous, right here. Toy. All right. General Grievous, right here. Action figure toy uh, made mostly out of paper. And so, yeah, this is a tough situation. But the cool thing is, I will finish him. Just my brain is fried right now on trying to figure out all the... Every inch of that has to be designed. And so it's just tough. Favorite toy of all time, Dex4? Oh, man. Favorite toy of all time. Well, I would have to go way back. Hi, Fran. Nice to see you. To uh, when I was... Uh, Seven years old, I was given a set of toy cap guns that today, if you pulled them today, you would get killed. They would shoot you. That's how real they were. They actually had 45 caliber slugs. And um, you could take the lead out of the slug and everything and put it in, in the barrel. Thank you, Kara, very much. Oh, that's awesome. And you could put brownie uh, stick em, or greeny stick em caps on the back. And they would actually fire and smoke would come out of the barrel. And they had these really cool leather holsters. Um, out of all the toys I had as a kid, I sure wished I had those right now. I, and I have seen a lot of toy cap guns and stuff over the years because I had a collectible toy store. Never have I seen... The pair that I had. That's all right, friend. If I can cheer you up, I will. Uh, I don't know if there's anything I can help you with. Uh, I am very sorry that uh, that is happening. There's a lot of folks out there in the world right now that are having it hard. And so... I don't know if we can help, but you can talk to everybody in here and maybe somebody has some help for you. <laughs> well, I, I might someday, Dexpor. I just don't have the money right now. It's like my fridge broke, you guys. It was $750 to get the fridge fixed, which I did not have. So, Joe let me use his fridge in the shop here and uh, while I save up the money to get my refrigerator fixed. <laughs> absolutely Kara thank you very much so you'll be in uh, on the next one of these one of these is going somewhere I'm not sure where yet because um, Asmuth doesn't follow me so I may have to run the wheel again Me through TikTok. I'll try to help as much as I can. Thank you, Kara. Well, Ghost, this was the very first piece. I was playing an RPG in the Grey Bar Motel uh, with these guys because the, they closed the jewelry shops when they shipped. By the time they shipped me back from out of state, which I was out there for two years, by the time I got back, they had closed the jewelry shops. I had nothing to do. So, anyway. Uh, hi, Daniel. How are you doing? Uh, not right now. The sun's out. Hi, Susie. And so, anyway, when I got back in state, the jewelry shops were closed. I had nothing to do. And so, I seen this stack of Star Wars books on the table. I knew it was an RPG. And so, I walked over there, and the guys are gabbing and getting ready to play the game. And I went, what you doing? <laughs> I knew what they were doing. <laughs> They didn't know I knew what they were doing. They said, we're playing Star Wars RPG game. And I went, oh, that's cool. Can I play? Oh, sure. <clears throat> and so that was on a Monday. <clears throat> Wednesday, uh, they left Coruscant. And we were going someplace. I don't remember where. Oh, thank you for the roses, Dean. And so anyway, uh, 
they were pushing a piece of paper around on the board, star chart, this big. I went, uh, what's that? That's our Millennium Falcon. Okay. Wow. <laughs> and that's cool. And so anyway, on Friday night, after the game was over, Red Dog, nice to see you. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I I, I suppose so. Uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, so anyway, um, I went up to my uh, cell upstairs, and uh, I had a box of mac and cheese. Now I had scissors and Elmer's glue, and uh, white acrylic paint in my uh, in my abode, and so I went ahead and I cut that box up, and I made this Millennium Falcon in 2010. Still have it today because the stuff is hard. All right, it's Elmer's glue, recycled paper, and acrylic paint. And so, this started everything in 2010. And I carried on until I do stuff like now. I'm doing this, the A10. I have Micro Machine builds on YouTube, the paper engineer. You can go check them out. All right. Now, I've been just kind of gabbing away and holding his arm, and there it is, repaired. So now what I'm going to do is make sure I'm more careful with him and don't break his arm off again. Yeah, the burp gun is really cool. <laughs> Rutabaga, I hope you're still here. Welcome to my phone show, everyone, and thank you for all the likes you guys are putting up. That is kind of cool. <laughs> well, Red Dog, I hope to have many, many students all over the world that are learning how to make paper toys in the cheapest hobby on the planet. And it's good for the planet. You're recycling paper. Everything I've made, everything I've made since 2010, I still have. Except for the ones that have been one on the gnome wheel and are going all over the world. Okay, I gotta be more careful with you. I can't afford to have you broke. No, no, no breaking, no. <laughs> okay, so now we gotta go back here. All right, this is the evening show. All right, morning show, CJ got in and Goshi got in and uh, Jem also got in. Now I have to uh, put on the evening show because we got folks that got in there. I, I, I know, Kara. I don't want to dismember him at all. Uh, thank you, Ghost. Let me see. Let me look at that. Cool. Yeah, 4.99 likes. That's that's awesome. I know Red Dog and I'm glad. Cuz this is my hobby. I invented this thing. And if people I hope people get better than me. I really do. Because there's so many cool things you can make. It it, it there's no end to it. If you like bugs, you can make any kind of bug you want. Dragonflies or or dinosaurs or, or dragons. <laughs> and it's all because you build a chassis. And then you start covering it with skin and, and armor and all that kind of cool stuff. You might want to make the Tantive, Princess Leia's ship. There it is. Dean, everybody has the patience. You just have to work patience. Well, Ghost, I tell you what, here's how I work that. I, I don't pick somebody that might like it or might be worth it, Ghost. If you win it, you get to donate it to someone here in the paper army that would like it. That's how that works. Because it's not, I don't, I don't think that's fair for me to do. 
Thank you, ghost. Yes, thank you, ghost, very much. For now, that's a good analogy. Because all this takes is time. Say you're an impatient human being. Work on it for 15 minutes. Because later on, when you're building later, you might be only working on it for 15 minutes at a time. Once a week. And then one day, you'll be working on it and you'll look up and it's been a half an hour. And you like don't want to stop because you got you're close to finishing something. So you go. What that does is that works your patience. Because if you don't work at something, all right, if you don't work at it, you'll never get good at it. And that's all there is to it. That's how patience works. You work at it. Yes, Kara, you can. And Warhammer is a fantastic hobby for her. Absolutely. Uh oh, some comments were filtered. I don't know why. I thought we took all the filters off. What the heck? For now, there you go. All right, ghost. I'll write that down so that it doesn't get lost. All right, ghost, it's up. If you win, I'll get a hold of that's all for now. That's a very generous offer. And thank you. That's ho, ho, ho. No, uh, death. <laughs> And absolutely, here's the deal. She's a, uh, um, anyway, yes. Uh, uh, if you want some uh, a gift from Santa, you have to go to Hipster Saint Nick Death. SKJ, yeah. I know, Bert, it is awesome. So, um, a Death, all you have to do is go to Hipster St. Nick. Go check it out right now. He's on TikTok. He's a friend of mine. I'm a garden gnome. Don't have anything to do with elves or nothing else. <laughs> oh, that's an, that's an old cliche, Elaine, I think. <laughs> Susie's right on that one. Yeah, you have to be careful there, Death. <laughs> I have a lot of very close followers all over the world. Uh, from Canada, all the way to Russia. <laughs> and they're kind of sensitive about that kind of stuff. Some of them cook, some of them don't. I'm, I like to cook myself. Yeah, there's... Yeah, for now, he's in Canada. Or she, I, I don't know. Because it doesn't tell me what gender you are. And I suppose that doesn't matter anymore because actually a human being can actually believe they're a cat. That's, uh, that's different. <laughs> well, uh, the one nice thing is, uh, uh, Darth. Uh, wait, oh, Darth. I call him Darth. 
<laughs> I like Darth better than death. Uh, my wife is a superb cook. She's actually better than I am, and I do okay. <laughs> she's been teaching me how to cook a lot of cool stuff. Uh, the next thing we're going to uh, teach is she's going to teach me how to make um, dolma. Okay, oh, this is the evening show. <laughs> well, thank you, Susie. Oh, really? <laughs> Blood type is caffeine. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. And, and this is for Elaine. It'll be dinner time come 6 o'clock for me. Dinner bell for uh, kitties. If you, would, if you guys would like some merchandise, this, uh, I have a link tree. And I think it's all opened up, but I'm not sure. I believe it is now. You can go to my merch page. I trademarked the paper army. So, all the gear that we have is trademarked. Nobody else can have it. Pepsi can't, Coke, none of that stuff. And so, if you like to have something that works really good, these are fantastic coolers. They keep your, uh, anything cool, anything hot. <laughs> well, Death, good, good luck. <laughs> yeah, dinner time. <laughs> oh, well, it's a late night munchie, Elaine. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, Death, I tell you what. That would be uh, missiles with fangs. Hi, Sniffer. <laughs> oh, well, that's great news. Um... Uh, Joe cooked dinner tonight. Where it's movie night. Friday night at uh, Wednesday night is Ashoka and movies, and then Friday night we do movies too. And so I cooked last week. He's cooking this week. <laughs> Maybe I should do this. At, 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 that's a good idea, Susie. Uh, next egg, what I do? I'll try and remember to ring the dinner bell. And and then Dagwood. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> It's a two-meal deal. Got half of it for later. Matter of fact, I got to put this in the... Uh, I got to take this home because I can have it for breakfast because Joe's got dinner. Everybody, uh, pray for... Uh, pray for mom. <clears throat> Excuse me. Pray for Mama. She hurt her back, and I'm sorry. Uh, Bulmer, I think maybe I, I screwed up and said something wrong. All right, for now, check back Friday or sooner if you wish to find out if you have won a new lightsaber. Yeah, Kara, you can tell a joke. Absolutely. Hi, Joshua. How you doing? Nice to see you. It is, Susie. It's your idea. It's a good one. Yes, prayers. There is only one. Doesn't matter what he's called, everybody. There is only one. Oh, nice, Bert. That sounds awesome. That's all right, Kara. Okay, what am I doing? Uh, Ghost is now on here because he has a wish, and I'm going to carry that out. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't need to read that. You guys can read that, right? <laughs> well, 
When you read the first part of the joke, you get the second part. <laughs> oh, that's a good joke, Kara. Thank you very much. I think I'll read it, you guys. When I was a kid, my dad got fired from his job as a road worker for theft. Yeah. I refused to believe he could do such a thing. But when I got home, the signs were all there. <laughs> Stop. Go. Yield. Hospital zone. Oh, no. No parking. <laughs> Thank you, Kara. That was nice. Not much, Black Sheep. Um, I had to fix C-3PO's arm broke. Um, he was built in 2019, and I was uh, looking at him today, showing him off to somebody, and I noticed the hand didn't fit right. And I went, uh-oh, and I looked, but it's paper. The nice thing is paper sometimes will separate. I need to put some glue on it, hold it in place, goes right back. And uh, what am I working on? Oh, I'm working on the turbines for the A-10. Okay. Now I have a question. Okay. All right. These are the turbines. But this is the front of it. Now I have a question. Does it look good that way? Or should I put it in this way? And have it spin? Okay. It's all right. <laughs> Last one. Oh, yeah, Freddy. Absolutely. Yes, the A-10 plane. And so, I kind of like this in the front. <clears throat> but it also looks pretty good like this. So, I'm not sure uh, how I need to build it. I, I might need to have to put more blades in the front. Oh, no. <laughs> it just made him sluggish. Okay. Well, Black Sheep, I'm happy about that. Hi, Jim. Uh, situation? The person that won it won it on one ticket, Jim. Uh, but they're not following me, so I don't know how to get in touch with them. And so I might have to re-roll the Gnome Wheel Friday. Because I give everybody a week to try and to get a hold of me or come in the show so that I can let them know what happened. But the gnome wheel is set up just in case I have to spin it again. And so, salutations, Jim. <laughs> well, I, I no, I, I won't do that. But wait, there, how many people we got? We only have 15 people in the show. What I will do is I will re-roll the gnome wheel if I don't get in touch with that guy. Because the whole thing about it is um, I, I, can't, I can't cheat anybody. Oh, that's fantastic, um, Grace. Lucille's a hard win. There's nine of them in the world, you guys. I made the Walking Dead baseball bat Lucille. And... Uh, they're hella sharp. I made my own barbed wire and it cut me six times making the stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Black Sheep. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. The A-10. What a devastating weapon it is. And they're going to retire it. I hope they have an A-10 Mark II uh, coming out soon. <clears throat> Um, yeah, uh, DNA. 
I suppose, on every piece that I make. <laughs> oh, that's cool, Luke. I almost missed your comment, Luke. I'm sorry. That's fantastic news. The loose seals that you made, if you cut yourself so many times on them, they have my DNA on it. Oh, that, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, they really did. Or, <laughs> can't be copied or duplicated, so... No, that's true. <laughs> uh, no, Jim, I'm not. Uh, I'm over on... Uh, we only want one mic. We only want one mic. Period. Yeah, they, they don't want to clone me. Uh, Jim, yeah. what I can do is uh, next week I can do Clapper. Remind me, you guys, next week to do Clapper. Uh, Jim, I tell you what, if you would like... I will shut off YouTube, okay?